yo bros what is up i am back on youtube finally i know i haven't been uploading much and i'm sorry guys as you know struggle to glory this is the theme of the channel and it's about me trying to fit fifa into my busy adult life and as you can see i moved house this is my new place it's amazing i love it so this month i moved house my brother came to visit, another friend came to visit and it was it got really busy at work, I had to work on a Saturday. But don't worry, this video will cover two weekend leagues and there will be another video with the other two weekend leagues. I'm not going to show a lot of gameplay, it will be more of a resume, let's call it. I'm still trying to find my, my perfect way of making a video about Foot Champions. What I've been doing until now is I record the 8-5 last games and I, I show them to you but what I think I will do from now on is I record every game and at the end I, I will select my favorite 4 games so the games that I show you are the best ones. As you can see this is our progress so far. On the first weekend obviously I didn't qualify, I tried. I did on week 2 and I did my best ever finish with 25 wins, that's gold 1. Then the next week I had to go on holiday to Portugal and then I came back and I repeated my feat, 25 wins, gold 1 for the second time. And 25 and 25 that's 50 wins and that was enough for silver 1 monthly. So spoiler alert, this month I will tell you week 1. I finished gold too, we finished with 23 wins and it's not so bad but it was a bit sad after the two gold ones. On week 2 is the week, I'm not going to show you any gameplay of week 2 because this is the week that I changed the house actually so I had to play all the games Friday night in a rush and a little bit Saturday morning and the rest of the weekend was to you know move houses. So I got to 18 or 19 wins which was enough to qualify for next week and also to get some rewards and I'm working towards that monthly rewards. I want at least three or four red sexy cards. Anyway, at the end of this episode, I will show you what we pack for week one and week two. Let's go to the first game. At the beginning of this weekend league, nothing was going in my favor. So I decided to change from my usual tactics that you know I use to this one. And I have to say, after this weekend league, I went back to my usual ones, they still work, I still love them. But I, I was very frustrated and when you were losing, you need to change stuff, so this is what I did. Obviously I wanted to have Aubameyang full cam, he's the star of my team, he's so good, he's unreal. I will show you his stats. So I brought Yarmolenko, which was a nice surprise, I, I, I thought it would be worse, but still not good enough to be on my team. Then Mertens is amazing, he's my own little Messi, he's great at dribbling, he's really quick, he's small and he will bang anything. I mean, a bang any goal, not, you know, yeah, any goal. <laughs> but anyway, let's go for the first game that I'm going to show you. This guy was really good, I spoke with him at the end of the episode. And look at that, he has red Otamendi like me, just like me. What a great coincidence. Anyway, I spoke with this guy at the end, he's Portuguese, he's a Benfica fan and he, he is really good, he usually finishes elite and I'm not going to spoil how the game ends but I think he told me that it was something like uh, 15 victories, 2 losses and yeah, he's an, an elite player so and I, I can really tell playing him, I mean look at that, right from the beginning he almost scored and it's not even over here because he gets the ball with Sonaldo and Gabriel Jesus fails this easy goal and the guy just kept applying pressure and by the way guys this is why this episode is oh what a sun uh, what a miss from sun this is why this episode is Sporting Benfica the big derby I was so excited when I started this because we both have the Sporting and Benfica kids the, the badge we're obviously big fans of our clubs and we are clashing each, each other on the biggest competition of FIFA. It was such a tough game, but I could tell there was a lot of respect and look at that. Mertens destroying his defense. I love Mertens for this, it's like Gomez or Messi. Uh, he just gets the ball and destroys them and I love these short corners. I've been having a lot of success with them, more than just... Uh, 
long pass corners. Uh, there's a word I'm forgetting it right now, but they they have been working really well for me. Anyway, we got ahead, maybe a bit lucky because his his keeper should have saved that, and he was unlucky not to score. But we were ahead, and we kept like that to the second half. And here Mertens almost finding that little space, and Sun Sun did find the space, but can he finish? Socrates is there. Socrates is the complete center back. He is tall, he's strong, and he's super fast. He's just not great at shooting, but you know, this is the worst game to say that because he scored in the derby. And look at that Gabriel Jesus goal. What a goal. My hat off to this guy. He, he, he couldn't score a lot of easy goals. I, I mean, not easy goals, but there were clear chances to score. When he finally does, he's with a screamer. And Gabriel Jesus is a bit broken in this game. I had him for a bit, as you know, I think it was weekend 2. Yeah, I had him for a bit. And I got really lucky again, Farman coming to save us. And this is what Farman can do. You can just rely on, me, on, on him. You can rely on me, that you can rely on him. Anyway, Aubameyang with his amazing pace gets the ball. And I almost lose the ball, gets back to Tolisso, Jelson Martins, and Jelson almost scored. By the way, I remember I really wanted to score with two guys in this game. It was Jelson because he's a sporting player and, you know, playing against Benfica, of course. So right on the half time, I brought Jelson Martins. And Rui Costa. Rui Costa is a big Benfica legend. At the end of his career, he came back to Benfica to play a couple of years. And he's not the president, but he's an important person inside Benfica, so, you know, and I had him on my team. And it's kind of crazy to see a sporting Benfica with a Rui Costa wearing green. But that's what happened. And I tried to score with him, and I couldn't. Aubameyang was the right person to try and score. This was a very tight game. And uh, this was my turn to try and try and not score in there. We could see me trying with Jelson when I probably should have passed or done something else. And Aubameyang, I couldn't believe his Hugo Lloris was defending everything from Aubameyang. But... Good things come to an end. So with a swift attack at the end, he couldn't score because Ralph Farman is there. And he kept trying, I mean, this guy was really good attacking. If it wasn't for Farman, I would have lost this game, like, it would have been 5-1 by now. But, in Portugal we have this saying that actually, it's pretty accurate, mostly on derbies, that is, who doesn't score, concedes, and we go ahead with Aubameyang, you can see how happy all the sporting fans are. We're winning the derby against our biggest rivals, on champions, on foot champions, I mean, and I, oh man, what is, I love Aubameyang. He still could have uh, scored there, but it was meant to be uh, Lukaku showing his strength, protecting the ball, and in the counter attack, Mertens runs faster than everyone else. Look, look at that dribble, and Tolisso gets lucky. I got a lot of times. I, lo I got lucky a lot of times in this game. Not to think of it, maybe I was that guy that wins a game that he doesn't deserve, but Aubameyang does the 3-1 and we don't care if we don't deserve it. I mean, respect to this guy, he plays great, he's a nice guy, but it's a sporting Benfica and we have to win that game every time, doesn't matter if it's fair, doesn't matter if we deserve to win or not, we're taking the 3 points home, in this case the 1 victory home on our road to, in this case it was just good to, it wasn't great, but you know, on the road to glory. So, second game I want to show you, and by the way, those were like the last three. It's a very weird one because no one has cam on the front three of him, and that usually means if a player doesn't really have a clue about how chemistry works, maybe doesn't have a clue how FIFA works, but is in foot champions, so you, you really... You have to be a bit good to be on foot champions. So it's a bit confusing, you never know what to expect when you see a team like this. But luckily for us, we go 1-0 up with Dries Mertens. They look so good in this shirt, man. I love playing with a sporting shirt. 
it really makes me go 200% on every game, especially if it's against Benfica or Porto or you know Boa Vista. Anyway, Nangola is not usually on the scoreline, but he was here and look at him, he looks great. Why wouldn't he get him? He's a great player, he has cool tattoos just like Vidal, look at those two bad boys taking the ball from everyone, they're like two bullies on the front, what a goal, what a chip, who else, Aubameyang, if you don't know, you can check the traits of each player, uh, I'm not sure if you can check them in the game, but maybe during a game, anyway what I do is I go to footbin and you can check uh, the traits of the players and Aubameyang has a chip shot trait or something so every time you chip shot over the keeper it's really effective with Aubameyang he's great at it in real life and so he's great at it in FIFA and while I'm talking I'm just destroying this guy 6-1 so my chemistry thing that I was saying in the beginning turned out to be right and we reach goal 2 which is where we finished we couldn't get to goal 1 very sadly excuse me and here we play against my nemesis Vardy I swear there's not a single game win or lose there's not a single game where I play against Vardy and he doesn't score against me I call him a snake because that's what it feels like when he gets the ball and starts dribbling and you can't take the ball from him and he run, runs more than anybody else I never played with Vardy actually because I hate playing against him and I don't want to be the Vardy guy anyway every time I see Vardy I'm really scared but just before half time 3 nil up I'm a bit more relaxed Yarmolenko scored a lot of goals He's, he has I think 2 star weak foots so and there it, there it is Vardy of course he scores against me of course I, I knew this was coming but yeah, Yarmolenko scored a lot of goals considering he's just 2 foot 2 weak star Stop two weak foot stars and yeah he scored surprisingly a lot and Vardy scored not so surprisingly twice against me I wasn't worried about any other guy like this guy uh, oh it's, is it was it Jelson anyway any, anyone who is not Vardy on this team I'm not concerned about if it's Vardy he will shoot and he will score and here Lukaku this is Romelu's Lukaku's brother, he plays in Lazio, he's such a beast and it's weird to see a guy with such a physique playing on left back and it was my only goal with him, I remember because I sold him now and he just had one goal on his card and he had some games, like a full weekend league at least. And here I'm prepared to waste time as you should in foot champions at the end because you never know what's gonna happen anyway those two games were the ones I wanted to show you they were the better ones from the ones I recorded anyway enough of talking you know the results for this month we got goal 2 on week 1 week 2 which I'm not going to show any gameplay we got goal 3 but it didn't really count because I didn't play all the games let's go to the rewards and we will find out how I do on the other two weeks which are over as I'm recording this so you can see how late I am with all this I'm I'm sorry anyway enough of talk let's see the rewards ciao yo bros welcome to another rewards video let's make it simple we finished the gold 2 as you know last weekend sadly before we did gold one twice so it's a step down but anyway still good rewards let's jump straight into them so what do we get one rare gold pack two rare mega packs and 45,000 coins that's still pretty good so here they are let's go for the worst one first what can we get please an icon please <sighs> something good not even a board well, let's just say the EA gods like to save the best for last. Sorry I skipped, but yeah, nothing good for sure. Alright, let's move to the better packs. I want a board, I want an inform, I want something nasty. That was a big, big flare. What's inside? Spain, goalkeeper, Casillas. 
Acerque. I was hoping for the Gea. Alright, so, so far, this is really, really, really bad. Alright, so far it has been awful. I wish we got gold one by now, but let's see. The other good pack. Surely it can't be worse than the other two. Come on. Come on, EA. It's not a board. Wow. This must be the worst packs I've ever got. FIFA 17 included. It's just... Just crap. Well guys, sadly this is a lesson for us to aim higher. Let's go for a gold one again next time. This one was just too bad to be true. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle with my own rewards. This was really bad. Anyway guys, I hope to bring you better stuff in the future. 19 wins. I'm not expecting much. Here it is. Two mega packs, one rare players pack, 30,000 coins. It's not as good as a gold one. I'll definitely be aiming for that next time around. But let's go open some packs now. Let's start with the mega pack. Hopefully a hero card, an inform, a path to glory. There's so many things, but nope. Nothing special on the first one. Castro. <clears throat> My pack luck has been horrendous. Yeah, Werner doesn't sell anymore. Alright, everything to the club. My transfer list is so full, but there's nothing I can clean right now, so we will have the risk of discarding stuff, but come on, let's see a flare, nothing again. Horrendous pack luck. Ah, gold one is not treating me well. Krichoviak. Hey, we packed Pogba. And the last one. All my hopes are here. This is like a half a hundred K pack. It's like a half of one of the main packs of gold ones. So let's hope for something special, please. Give me my first item. Oh, there's something. It's not an inform. France, center back, Barcelona. Oh, Titi. It's not bad, but I can't really make a lot of money from him. Yeah, and that's it. That's the packs for today. We pack Pogba again. We'll have to discard some stuff here. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Sure.